1260 KLYC. Voters in Polk County yesterday defeated a fire district levy request for fire district number one. Fifty-five percent, almost 56 percent of those going to the polls voted no. And that's uh, 1,987 no votes. 421 is the difference between the no and the yes votes. Again, 56 percent voting no. If it had passed, it would have raised $648,000 in budget year 2014 through 15 and would have uh, levied taxpayers $0.60 cents per $1,000 of assessed value. Polk County Fire District Board of Directors said they need this money because of uh, decreasing revenues from Medicare, Medicaid, and other insurance has uh, caused uh, a crunch on their budget, and they needed extra money from the voters. Yesterday, the voters did not give that to them. We talked to John Stein, the fire chief at Polk County Fire District Number 1, about that defeat. Well, it means that um, we're going to have to... Um review our options. Uh, we'll be getting together with the board here in the very near future and, and look at some of our options and, and move forward. Um, it's certainly going to put a financial challenge um, before us, but um, we're going to continue to provide the best service we can despite the, despite what the, um, the outcome of the vote was. How much of, this, of your budget, your overall budget, was this levy request? Well, it, was a, it, would, be, it would have been an addition um, to the budget, and so what we will do is, is we will um, do the very best we can to manage in the upcoming year um, with, with carryovers, and then uh, in the future we're going to have to look at our options. Um, we certainly can't um, maintain the services that we're providing right now with, at, at, the, at the current financial level that we're at. So um, we'll have to explore some options, and, and that's what we plan on doing here in the, real new, in the very near future. Obviously, the board has to meet and make some decisions, and they have to set the policy, but what are possibly some of the options you might be looking at? Um, well, they're, they're varied, and, and there's, there's um, quite a number of them, and so right now um, I don't think I want to disclose any of those until, or, or even start discussing those until I've had a chance to meet with the board, and we certainly haven't, a chance, haven't had a chance to do that. So it would be premature for me to speculate on any of those changes at this time. How many firefighters do you have, Polk County Fire District 1? We have um, nine career firefighters, which are our shift firefighters, which are here 24 hours a day. And then we supplement that um, with about approximately 60 uh, volunteers. And how large of an area do you cover? Uh, we cover um, square miles. I'm not off the top of my head. I'm not sure what that is. But um, we cover a large portion of Polk County. We have stations located in, in Airlie. Uh, we have a station in, in Buena Vista, and we have a station in PD, as well as the one here in Monmouth Independence. So right now you provide 24-7. Somebody's at the station all the time, 24 hours a day. We have three personnel that are here, yes, 24 hours a day, and, and they're providing both medical and fire service. So if we get a, a medical call, for example, uh, they would respond to that, and then that leaves us totally reliant on volunteers um, should a second call come in. And in the evenings on the weekends, we can usually manage that, but in the daytime, the availability of our volunteers is very, very limited, and so um, we, we struggle there, and it, it's a challenge for us to, to respond to second calls. That's, that's the challenge that's really face, we're facing. And so this would put it under more of a, if you're using, have less men or less resources because of less money, then that would put a further further challenge in that area, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. Well, certainly personnel, um, looking at personnel issues and reductions and so forth is one of the options we'll, we would we would have to explore. But um, that would be one of the last things that I would want to do because, again, we want to provide the best service we can. And in order to do that, we need people to do that. So hopefully we can find other options than that, but that certainly is on the table. What do you think voters are saying? Well, I think it's. Uh, I think the voters are saying it's a difficult time for all of us, as far as uh, financially, with with all the issues before us, and and um, I, I don't think that I don't think that this is saying anything about the service we're providing. I think they, that we provide a quality service, and I think the the voters agree with that. They're just um, simply at a point where um, they're saying, you know, we're we're limited in what we can spend, and so they're they're choosing their options, and that's one of the options they chose. Because of the decision yesterday, how soon is that going to hit boots on the ground? How soon is that going to impair or impact the operation of the fire department? Is it 2014 when that budget year would kick in? or? Yeah, we, we obviously yeah, our, have our budget set and in place for, for this year. Yeah, it, it, the impact is going to be when we sit down and start working on the budget for 2014. That's, that's when whatever necessary changes we'll have to make will 
will be done. So, yeah, you're exactly right. 2014 will be a, a crucial budget for us. Okay. John, anything you want to add? No, I just appreciate the opportunity that you uh, gave us and, you know, getting us out there to public. And hopefully we can make this work next time. Is that one option, maybe going to the voters again? That, that is one of the options, yeah. That's one of the options is p perhaps going to the voters again. We'll, we'll have to look that over um, and, and decide that. Um, you know, the options are always going to be um, going for another vote, personnel. Um, we have we have some fairly significant equipment issues, um, apparatus issues that need replaced. And so, you know, we'll have to look at all those things. Okay.